All right, Pisces. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with a Virgo. So if you have Pisces or Virgo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or Jupiter, this reading may resonate with you. Keep in mind that this is general. The rules can be reversed, so flip it, switch it according to your situation. Uh, this is just the energy between Pisces and Virgo placement. So let's see. What are the messages, please? This is for the next 10 days, so keep in mind energy is fluid, so... Uh, some of these messages may resonate with you now. They may resonate with you in a few days. They may resonate with you in 10 days. Um, if this reading randomly pops up in your feed, then uh, it may resonate with you at a different time. However, this is intended for April 29th through May 9th. All right, what is the energy, please, between Pisces and Virgo? Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Let's see. What are the messages, please, for passes? Then with a Virgo. Thank you guys for being here. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right. So Pisces, you got beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection, okay? Virgo got let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never conquers. Never. <laughs> super dyslexic at the moment okay love never claims it simply allows and gives wow conquers huh all right so take that as it resonates okay <laughs> uh all right so be aware of the energy that you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities that you both possess um equally so if there's something that you don't like maybe that's a reflection or something is being mirrored back to you or reflected back to you and vice versa these rules can be reversed all right virgo all right let there be closeness between you guys um, but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives all right so let's get some more messages between pisces and virgo keep in mind that this could be you know this is just additional information that can help you understand your situation or that may resonate with you if this reading is for you okay so let's see this is from the hearts hidden secrets can we get four cards please for pisces dealing with a virgo you got peace balance harmony and friendship and you got intimacy bonding sensual and confiding so some of you like this could be a situation where you guys find peace in one another or you know there may be a need to have a deep you know deeper bond with this person or you may confide in this person or there needs to be some sense of like closeness intimacy you got divine feminine yin feminine energy and running ghosting disappearing and invisible so i could be speaking to a feminine here who could be got their running shoes on okay or that could be running from the situation or someone here could be running from the feminine you got heart fog mixed signals blocked emotions and messed up just a little messed up right now <laughs> okay so someone here may have like heart fog okay maybe running from a feminine or a feminine maybe running from the masculine i don't know or a feminine running from a feminine whatever suits your fancy i put this sage out all right what else do we need to know spirit between pisces and virgo please this can also be someone who you find like um like a you have like a very deep bond with someone you feel like is like your friend not only like your lover but your friend okay you may find peace in this person or they may find peace in you with this balance harmony and friendship i strongly feel like there's a sense of like yeah like it's not just love it's like this is your friend okay unworthy you are a better person than i am so someone here may feel unworthy of someone's love you got self-love i'm still trying to heal someone else could feel like maybe they're not worthy because there's some type of healing that they may need to do you got unappreciated and commitment i want to be a part of your 
I want you to be a part of my future. And I felt like you didn't care. So someone here, I feel like just kind of feels like unworthy or, um, it's like they want <coughs> to heal and have something. But I also feel like someone here is running from something that could be very, that could have a lot of growth possibly. Okay. You got escape. I left when things got hard. Single cards, please. Yeah, someone here may want to have a conversation. Someone want, may want to hear the other one's voice. Someone here feels like they couldn't give the other person what they needed. Someone here in this situation, whether it's you, Pisces, or Virgo, someone here may have some type of deep-seated insecurities that they're trying to heal or that they're trying to work on where they could have felt unworthy. So maybe someone's like running from this situation. You got confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So someone here may be, you know, trying to escape a situation where they just feel like something's not clear so they just run from it okay all right so let's see what's going on here between Pisces and virgo keep in mind that these messages are general not every message will resonate with you if you'd like a personal reading information will be in the description box below on how you can do that all right so let's see pisces overall energy these roles can be reversed as well show me pisces overall energy the ones dealing with a virgo Seven of Pentacles, Pisces. So uh, Seven of Pentacles can talk about waiting. You may be focusing on your own garden, tending to your own garden. Um, where you spend your time, your energy, your resources, your emotions. Okay. Show me Virgo. Overall energy. Or you could be waiting for something here to materialize, waiting for something to grow. Show me Virgo. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this person may want to come towards you with some type of communication or some type of truth here. You could be waiting on communication from this Virgo as well. Or vice versa. Show me Pisces emotions when it comes to this situation. The Eight of Wands. Show me Virgo. Yeah, you could be waiting on communication or waiting for someone to take action here, waiting for some type of forward movement. It's like I'm waiting for something to freaking grow, materialize, move forward, progress. Okay. Show me Virgo's emotions, please. The King of Swords. Dang. Uh, this person could be a little bit closed off when it comes to their emotions. They could be in this very air-like energy. Someone who's very stoic, strategic, smart. Strong energy here of... Give me one more on Virgo's emotions. The Three of Pentacles. So they may want to talk about something. They could even be talking about a third party. And the third party does not have to be... Um, cause you got third party right here and then irreplaceable underneath that. The way you love can never be matched, but the third party in this situation could be a work situation. This person could be very focused on their work, their, you know, whatever it is that they're trying to work on. Yeah. And they could just be like closed off when it comes to their emotions. They may want to like ex express this to you. Or maybe the way that they communicate could sometimes come off as like cold or harsh or very direct. And it could be because they have other things on their mind, such as work. Okay. Show me Pisces. Uh, how's Pisces moving for the next 10 days? How's Pisces moving? the lovers gemini energy and the five of pentacles so you feel like you feel like this you feel like there's a very strong connection or a very deep bond that you share with this person you may be in the process of making some type of a decision decision or a choice but again you may be feeling left out in the cold or even neglected or abandoned by this person or by this person that you have a you know a deep connection with a soul tie with and you feel like there's something lacking. Show me Virgo. How's Virgo moving? 
you could even be like for some of you, you could be thinking about moving on from this connection and leaving this situation out in the cold. How's Virgo moving? You got the death cards, Scorpio energy, and the page of cups. So this person, um, they may come in and with an apology, maybe wanting to create some type of a change here with the death card. They could be apologizing for something. They could even be apologizing for the way something ended. If this is someone you had an ending with. Um, they may even be coming in like expressing the fact that, hey, I want, you know, I want something to change here. I want something to transform. Um, show me Pisces intentions with Virgo. The full card, Aries energy, and the moon. Yeah, I feel like you, your intentions, Pisces, it's like you want to start something new with this person, um, but you feel confused. You feel like you're left in the dark here with the moon. There could even be some type of subconscious fears that maybe you have, or you just feel like something here isn't clear, but you want to start something new, or you want, um, maybe some of you guys want to free yourself from the confusion. It's like, I don't want to... I feel confused in the dark. Show me Virgo's intentions with Pisces. The six of coins and the nine of swords. So this person is worried. I mean, they could have their own fears of their own or, you know, there's something here that's weighing heavy on their mental and it could have to do with like equal give and take. It could have to do with money, you know, finances, resources, or whom they give their time, their energy, their resources to. Hmm. Show me the outcome here between Pisces and Virgo. And keep in mind, your guys' timelines are all going to be different, okay? Show me the outcome here between Pisces and Virgo. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay, so Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords in the world. This is an ending, okay? I don't know if you're married to this person, you live with this person, or someone here is like, I don't know, someone goes looking and sees, finds some type of information or goes spying and sees that someone here is lying or being deceptive, and it causes an ending and a betrayal within this home, this family, causes some type of an ending here. All right, show me what this page of swords is, please. Here in the outcome. The three of wands. There could be some type of communication here that could be coming in in the near future. It may not has arrived yet. May I said that weird, but you get the point. Ace of wands. It's like someone here is like looking for information or waiting on information to come in. It could be delayed about starting something new, physically starting something new. Show me the seven of swords. Hmm. You know what I kind of feel like? I feel like someone may feel like 
someone is cheating or lying or being deceptive when I kind of think that the third party or like someone it's it's really something else I mean I could be wrong but um yeah the tower and the four cups showing itself Scorpio energy four cups like someone may feel like someone here is juggling but I feel like it has to do with something financial um and someone here just feels like rejected or they feel like they you know like there's something's gonna something's ending suddenly because somebody's like not getting what they want from another person so and so someone just gives up nine of wands in the reverse it's like someone's like i ain't gonna tolerate this shit <laughs> queen of pentacles All right. Sorry for all the squeakity squeaks. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay, someone here could be giving up. Because they're focused on their finances or their resources or something to that nature. Show me the Four of Wands. crazy four of wands the devil and the lovers someone here feels like something here is toxic or there's a karmic relationship or someone may feel like there's other choices or there's something going on that's not good within a home or someone here may fear like commitment a connection or a choice when it comes to stability or a home Someone could even feel like there's codependency within this connection. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and it gives. I don't know. Another thing I can see here too, and again, roles can be reversed. Don't shoot the messenger, but um, yeah, someone here could have felt like another, like <sighs> it's like someone, okay, let me just stop. This person could have felt like I feel like there's like a miscommunication almost here or maybe not, but this person could have thought like you wanted some, you were waiting for something to like grow, materialize. You want to move something forward very quickly um, in this connection because it may be some type of a financial f five of pentacles here. Like maybe you feel that there's some type of lack. And so someone may feel like you want to leap into something um, out of fear or um, an insecurity maybe even with the moon being here. Um, and so this person could be trying to be like smart or strategic and build something. They may even want to apologize for how things ended. I think I said that earlier. And then the nine of swords and six of pentacles. Somebody here could be worried that like they would be giving more to this connection or will there be equal give and take they're worried will there be equal give and take here one virgo could have maybe even thought that like they could have been the one that gave up on a situation or they just feel like um nine of ones in the reverse is like not really wanting to fight for something you know it's just kind of giving up and like sneaking off or dipping off or 
Um, again, trying to be strategic here because maybe someone feels like there's like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be bound to this or is this toxic? Is this binding? Something may end due to that. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just reading what it says. The star and the two of wands. Yeah, I feel like some of me feel like they made a choice here or a decision for their own like wish fulfillment or for their own happiness or tell me about this two of wands, the queen of swords. Yeah, it's like someone here is making a decision, like a very head over heart decision. I don't really see any cups here either. Just this page of cups, but. So is this a friend? It's almost like someone here is trying to overcome something or. Someone's trying to be brave or courageous and maybe not accepting someone's cup because they. They're more focused on their work or building something up for themselves, some type of success or accomplishment here, building some type of wish fulfillment. So it's like I can't be tied to this. I can't be bound to this connection, even though we share a connection. It's like someone's trying to be very like strategic when it comes to their finances and that's just that. Pisces, you too could even feel like taking this risk causes you like a lot of fear or anxiety. Or, you know, like you're worried about taking some type of a risk with this person, but you feel a connection. Who? I feel like I picked up on someone specific. I don't know. Yeah, there were other things that got in the way of you two being together. Show me the devil and the lovers. It's like someone almost fears making a choice, like a major life choice or a decision. Three of Cups and Seven of Swords. It's like someone here is like, I don't necessarily feel like the third party is love, y'all. Damn, three swords. Three cups and seven of swords. Unless that this is like somebody telling the, okay, this is totally off. This is a whole twist to the story. 
unless someone is unhappily married or going through a divorce. Yeah, going through a divorce and somebody here could be like expressing something, but it's like I'm worried about having to pay out some money or give some something to somebody. So someone here could be like trying to keep some type of a third party a secret. So if this person is trying to keep you a secret, Pisces, with this high priestess, okay, or giving you some type of promises of, oh, we're going to be together, we're going to be whatever the fuck, okay, four of wands. And it's like someone's communicating some type of something like, oh, we can start something, we're going to have something, but it's going to be in the future. Because right now it's like someone here is like in the process of Like if someone is in a commitment and it's like they're trying to be very strategic while they are getting out of something that was toxic and binding. But this is like some type of third party deceptive stuff going on here. And someone feels de you feel betrayed or you feel left out by this connection because this person may have told you some things. But it's like at the same time, it's like they're they're, you know, they still got something going on. Someone here could be trying to like go, someone could be going through a very painful ending where they're trying to have the courage and the strength to, to, to go through this ending, to complete this cycle so that they can go towards wish fulfillment. But again, I still feel like someone here feels rejected or they, they're emotionally unavailable and it's like someone may be trying to like secretly promise someone else or or something like that like oh we are going to have something in the future but it's just been like talks it's not really like secure and one person's like i'm tired of waiting or something or i want something to move forward and i feel like left out from this person this is i share a deep connection with you but it's like fear taking this risk i don't know who the third party's on what side y'all y'all put it where it belongs but that could be the story too I hope I made sense. I don't know if I did, but. Um, all right. What else does Pisces need to know about this situation with this Virgo? Y'all be sure to hit the like button. New love and unbreakable love. Mm. Express your love. It is important to let the people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. Some of you, this could be like a secret admirer. You could be secretly admiring this person or this person could be secretly admiring you. Um, forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. Someone here could be holding on to some type of regrets and like focus on their work or trying to build up something, some type of courage here to, to complete a cycle. Okay, divine timing. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. And you got damn twin flame. They are the one. Oh shit. Okay. So Twin Flame, this person is your mirror soul. This is why the connection feels so sacred to you. And again, with this, beware of what you are projecting because the qualities that you admire in one another are the qualities you possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are the one are also your own reflection. So some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Twin Flame. You have the Four of Wands out here twice. That can be like that Twin Flame energy. Um, and then they are, they are the one. You have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Yeah, something here may feel very sacred, you know, but some there's some type of an attachment here that I feel like someone has. And yeah, I don't know on whose part, and I'm not going to go over all those cards again. But all right, let's see. What else for Pisces and Virgo? You got... Chriso phrase perspective. The difference between hope and despair is is a different way of telling stories from same from the same perspective. Okay, so something here is all about perspective, I guess. You can either have hope or you can have despair. You did have the star card here. 
And then it's like there's some type of regrets that someone here is like challenged with and needing to overcome or needing to work on this feeling of like rejection or feeling like um, feeling some type of disappointment. Dude, it just started raining. That's weird. You got hematite. Okay. Oh, damn. The devil. Hell is empty and hell is empty and all the devils are here. Oy. I did have the devil card in this reading too. So like I said, there's something here that's like binding in this connection or some, some type of an attachment. Meditation. You have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Okay. I feel like I'm leaving y'all. Like some of you may even feel like such a strong connection to this person that you may even feel like, is this toxic or is this my person? Like, is this my twin flame or is this, or is this like toxic, you know? Like there could be a strong attachment that y'all two have to one another or a strong soul tie that you have together that you could be questioning if something here is karmic. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to leave this reading here. I love you guys so much. I hope it helped. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.